Hi guys, uh, this is um, welcome to my uh, Soul Sports tutorial channel. So uh, my name is Chris, and I'm going to teach you how to install uh, data loader on Windows. So uh, let's get started. So uh, currently, what you have seen on the screen is the art article which we use to install the data loader on Windows. So uh, first, to keep in mind, um, you need to review this article. Okay, so currently, um, this is available for um, both Classic and Lightning. And uh, for the uh, editions, so this is only available for Enterprise Performance Unlimited and Developer Editions. So um, Professional Editions is not included, so uh, you may observe that you will not able to see the data, lo data loader and setup. So uh, you need, unless you need to uh, coordinate with your account executive to um, upgrade to this following version so that you can use the data loader on Windows. So second, you need to check what permissions that you have in your profile um, if you have already um, uh, to use or ready to use the data loader. So first, to access the page to the download the data loader in the setup. So um, uh, um, you need to have the modify all data. So system admin has this uh, permission default to them so uh, they can definitely download the data loader. So if you have some end users that you need to download or uh, they uh, would like to download the data loader, so uh, you should grant them the modify all data. Okay, second. To use the data loader, so there are following permissions that you need to uh, assign. So normally, this following permissions is available for a standard system admin profile. So if you were trying to um, uh, assign or uh, allow a user to use the data loader if they are not an admin, so you should put uh, you should enable the API enabled permissions in their profile or. Uh, you can also provide a permission set with this following permissions and then assign it to that end user. So second, they should have the appropriate user permissions for operation you are doing. For example, create an account, insert new accounts. So um, so first, if you have an object, so it says here that if you're uh, trying to uh, insert or um, update new account, they should have a create access permission or edit access permissions on their profile, on the object, for account object. Okay, so next is the bulk API hard delete. So this is necessarily needed because the data loader has um, a function where you can uh, do a hard delete for all the records. So uh, this is necessary. So keep in mind this following permissions before you uh, start installing the data loader or use the data loader so what we need to do first so uh, first install the java in, uh, runtime environment okay or the jre version 11 or later so um there is a link here for windows so what when you click that one you will go to this page for the azul azul page so um you need to go down or scroll down and then look for version or java 11 here So here is the Java 11 and then you will look for the GRE and then you may choose if either 64 bit or 32 bit okay and then the format of the file that you need to download it says here that you need to download the dot MSI file so click on the dot MSI All right, so once you downloaded that file, show it into the folder. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for it to finish. All right, so once done, just click on the file. Then hit next. 
So currently I have installed this one. So let's say that I would like to change. Then I put next, change. And then hit finish. So once you're done with that, you will go to the next step where you will download the uh, actual installation file of the data loader. So first you need to log into your Salesforce org. So I'm currently in my setup. So first thing you need to go to setup. So this is the already original page, but I'll teach you how to get there. So search on the quick finds data space then loader. So under integrations, click on data loader here. And then you will get to this page. So under that download uh, link, you will see the following uh, articles that you can use to install or the steps just like this one, just like this article. So this is uh, the following articles that you need to use to install the uh, data loader. So there's other options as well to install into Mac computers. So first, I would like to click the da download data loader for Windows. All right. So after that, uh, let's skip. Uh, let's try to open it to a folder. So this is the file. So all you need to do to this file is to extract it to the folder or to this to the exact file or where you want the directory you want to extract here. And then the next step is to once you extract the file, you need to double click on the install that batch file or the install that batch file. All right. So what's uh, we're going to do here? So I'm going to double click on the file, and then if you want to install that um, the data loader and the exact default directory just click on enter so really I installed one but um, I'll just need to overwrite that so I'll just put yes all right so would you like to start add it to the start menu so I'll just put yes like to create a desktop so currently what we have here is the data loader so we need to open that and check that this is already working All right, so we have already successfully installed the data loader. So uh, there are several uh, function for data loader that you need to uh, that is um, very important for a uh, Salesforce user to insert records, update records, um, upsert, just like insert and in, uh, update. So combination of the insert and update, delete records, hard delete export and then export all so um, since we already installed this one um, if you have further questions just put a case uh, a comment here below and uh, happy to assist you with those questions thank you for watching